Morning. Today we have quite a busy day. But the first thing we're going to be doing is this. We have got to process some chickens. So I'm going to take you along the journey. Now, there are the girls. Just finished milking. And they are now happily grazing. I'm really looking forward to uh, getting the sun. And I'm not the sun. The rain. Aha! We have an escapee. Mm-hmm. Well, we just put a new net for our chickens in place and try and keep them contained. And it looks like we got a new one figured out how to get out of it. So we're going to have to, uh, she probably flew out. So we're going to have to capture her and get her back in the system, as they say. Okay, here we go. A little bit of food. Those, see those feet? You don't want them scratching you. Trust me. So we, what we have here is we have four buckets. Each one of these buckets actually contain water. And that basically is to catch the blood once we uh, do the actual uh, tilling. Each chicken goes into one of these cones. Now what I have found is, and you'll see it, the chickens have a tendency to, you know, the legs go, they, they start getting back in here and they push, they can sort of push themselves out. So what I do is I use this strapping. You can probably use any type of a twine or a string or what have you. And I just basically do this type of thing, catch the legs there, and then I sort of pull the legs back so they don't have this constant motion and they just relax and bleed out. I know that may seem like a little bit sort of like off for some folks, but you know, we have gotta get dinner to the dinner table somehow, and this is what we do. So I have one, two, three, four. And we do four at a time. So that's what we do. We have one big cone here for Thanksgiving, the turkey. And we're good to go. So there's the chicken plucker, and then we have this net. This is a uh, shade cloth um, that I have a piece of, and that will catch all the feathers. So then we just wrap that up and we throw the feathers into our compost pile. That's bit like that, and you have the water flowing in, and that creates a lubrication. And the bird walks around there, the feathers come out there with the water flowing. Start getting a few of these chickens in. Bring the head through here. Remember what I said here? I take this.
Once the chicken goes upside down, they sort of go into stasis like a shark and they just relax and it's not so bad for them. Okay, and then just relax. Okay, our last bird. And if you notice, the birds are very quiet. We don't have a lot of squawking. And that's what you want. You don't want a lot of squawking. Squawking means stress. Stress means hormones. Hormones means off the flavor on the bird. Can you imagine what they do in the factory situation? Wow. Pull that leg back. So what I do is I get this, I bring this around here, twist it around here a couple of times, make a little loop like that, put the thing through, push it up, and that's there. Now we're gonna start with the first bird. It's the most relaxed. So sharp knife, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the head down, like this. And you're looking for the jugular, which is right around here. That's where the jugular vein is on the bird. Come here. So anyway, we have the first chicken. Now we're going to scald 140 to 160 degrees. We're at about 153. And in she goes. And then we put this down like this. The reason I'm holding my finger up, just in case some of you don't know the answer to that question, it's the fingers above the heart. And therefore, blood doesn't like to pump uphill too much. So we do that. So we do, you know, dip that bit there. And then we're going to just take it out. And you, what you do is you test the leg. Once the once the, the that comes off, the chicken is done. See the skin come off the leg? The chicken is done. Now we're going to come over here. We turn the water on. And in the air. Bring over here for the inside thing. And then we'll put the chicken in. Can you see that? Your grandparents and my grandparents, if they saw this machine, they would be saying, oh my gosh, how about that? One plucked chicken. I love it. <laughs> and here's Oksana. She's waiting with the chickens. Come on. <laughs> there you go, honey. Well, so pretty much wrapped up. We now are going to go into the eviscerating room. And Oksana is in here. She, Corey was here working diligently. So let's see what we got. We have in here, there are the chickens. They're all chilling out. And over here, Oksana is diligently doing her bit. She's got her bowl of hearts and kidney, not kidneys, um, gizzards, necks and feet. And over here, we have the livers. I want to show you something. Now, this is really important. If you look, if you look at a liver that you get from the chicken in the store, it's sort of like a white, it's just like a lot of grayish color. So let me show you this. See that color there? How rich that is? The reason I show this to you is because the liver is the filter, the filtration system of the body. And it has to filter all the toxins out. And the more toxins you have, the grayer the liver. The less toxins, the brighter the color. And as you can see, this liver has a nice color to it. That's what you want to look for. Hence, buying from the local farmer. Good food, good health. And my poor finger. 
What do you think of Sarah? Mm -hmm. Would you be in agreement with that? Exactly. Good food, good health. Exactly. Every time. Exactly. All the time. All the time. That's it. And this is Oxana's favorite. Not mine. I don't eat chicken fish. But it's all good. Well, I thank you very much for spending this morning with us. Um, we appreciate your spending it with us. We appreciate your subscribing to the channel and also liking, write a like. Any comments, any comments below, always welcome. And as always, we'll be seeing you down on the farm.